Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you take a picture on a dull day and you end up with a dull image. It seems just fairly flat and it's nice to be able to pick up the colours a bit. Here's a very quick way of doing that. And that's all we do is we go to the background here, hit Control J to duplicate it. And the basic principle is go to the blend mode and go down to Colour Dodge. And Colour Dodge is picking up the colours here so you're getting more contrast within the colours here. But the sky is a bit blown out so it's the lights it doesn't like. So we'll go to the blend ranges, pull down the right hand side here, uncheck the linear and bring this down so you can see here the sky is a bit better there now. So then and the idea then is let's hit Control J a couple of times and that's improving the sky but the sky is going worse there so I just undo that. I'm going to put a mask on this. So I will just go to the selection brush, paint around here to get myself this selected here. Yes, I quickly do that and a quick refine afterwards. Then I can sort of tell it to fix the odd bits that it's forgotten about. There we go and apply that. Now that I want a mask, so I'm going to hit the mask there here. I can hit Control D to get rid of the marching ants. And this mask mask has appeared up there just because of the settings. I can just drag that into place here. However, the mask is in fact the wrong way around because I want to select the ground. I want to apply the colour dodge to the ground, not to the sky. So I'll just hit Control I to invert the mask. So it's now there so the sky is kept. So now I just hit Control J again. Now the sky is retaining, is keeping its original colour and I'm just, each time I hit Control J, it boosts this up. That bit down there looks like it's you know, it's over, you know, come here and down there as well. So I'm just going to go Control Z back again and just go, I'm going to go to those there within the mask and go to a paintbrush. Okay, put up my opacity fairly high, hardness halfway up, that's fine paint black on this mask make sure I've got the mask selected to bring that one back there and this one down here so it's not included in that so I can take a bit more care of that if I like but that's good enough for now and then hit control J's again there we go that's they're not standing out now and hit control J as many times as you like to bring up the colors in the picture here and there you go it's very very quick and easy, including some backwards and forwards. Um, and this is going to be taken a fair much. You save that the files. So you probably want to flatten it before you save it. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.